<coughs> oh, it's really dusty in here. Mr. Monk, maybe you should wait in the car. No, 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 I'm fine. You know, Monk, we can't pay you for this. Oh, uh, it's on the house. Least I could do. Yeah, here we go. Body was here. Yeah, it looks like he was on the desk, face down. I uh, fell onto this thing, rolled over onto the floor. What do you call that thing? Spindle. Spindle, God, that's it. Finished my report. The rug was like this. Yeah. Looks like it tripped. It wasn't premeditated. Oh, there was a struggle with a woman. A woman? How do you know that? Heel marks in the carpet. Oh, she had very small feet. A lot of women have small feet. She wore perfume. Shalimar. Trudy wore Shalimar. Wait. No reading glasses. I think he kept something stashed in this book. The key. Did they find a key? No, no, nothing. Maybe they were fighting over that. Look at this. It's her mug, lipstick. Oh, yes. Cinnamon to sweeten the coffee. Trudy used to do that. Is this the victim? Yeah, his name's Zach, Zach Ellinghouse. Oh, no. I knew him. Ellinghouse, Natalie. You were just asking me about him. Captain, his daughter, Janice. Used to work with Trudy. It's weird you keep mentioning Trudy. There was a witness who heard a struggle. Wait, 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 let me, let me. Witness distinctly heard victims say, "What are you doing, Trudy?" Trudy. That was Trudy's name. Monk. Was it her? He's not sure. She was too far away. Did you make the car? Sedan. Gray sedan. What kind of sedan? Did you see the driver? The license number. He doesn't remember. I don't understand. Why would anybody want to impersonate Trudy? I don't know. I wish some of these kids would impersonate her a little bit. She was the best reporter I ever knew. Here it is. Peer pressure by Janice Ellinghouse and Trudy Monk. It was the only article they ever wrote together. It's a hell of a piece. You should have won a Pulitzer. Yeah. It was on the Dock Workers Union? Ed Lindley, the union president, was indicted because of that article. He's still in jail. That's right. The guy was untouchable, but Trudy and Janice never stopped digging. That article made history. Lindley's second-in-command, Jack Bollinger, became the union president because of this. He's still there, seems to be running a pretty clean shop. Well, they are really naming names here. Look at all these payoffs. How did they get all this? Hard work and a secret informant. Deep background. Trudy never told me who it was. Well, they never told me either. Where was Janice's desk? Over there. Still haven't cleaned it out yet. It's uh, hard to say goodbye. Yes, it is. Pay rent. Yeah, so? She was already paying a mortgage. What could she be renting? What, what, what can you rent for $105? I rent a storage locker. It costs about that much per month. The missing key. The one from the book, it could have opened a locker. Mr. Mike, there are hundreds of storage lockers in San Francisco. Where would we even start? Well, Natalie. How about Transcal moving in storage 13025 Third Street? What? I know this guy. I've seen him before. Do you have the article that Trudy and Janice wrote? Yeah. Yeah. That's 
Jim. Jack Bollinger. The union boss. He was their anonymous source 10 years ago. Now that they're both gone, he must be panicked that all of their research material will be made public. And his old friends will know that he ratted them out. What about the woman? Bollinger must have just found her. It was a con game to trick Janice's father into giving up that key. How did she know so much about Trudy? Bollinger must have coached her. He spent time with Trudy when they were writing this, so he knew a lot about her. It's jungle out there. Disorder and confusion everywhere. No one seems to care. Well, I do. Hey, who's in charge here? It's jungle out there.